Hi everybody, it's Stacy. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me today. This is sing along number six, if you're keeping track. Um, we have one through five all on my YouTube channel, so I, I hope you have caught all of them too, because we have a lot of fun surprises throughout the 30 and 40 minutes that the set of music is. So let's start with our hello song. We've been singing this one um, for all of our sing-alongs, and I hope you know it by now. Please sing with me. messaging me on Facebook and Instagram. We want to say a big hello to my friend Casey, who was such a special friend of mine in music class. Um, and my friend Aton. Hi, Aton. I heard you're watching too. And we have Amelia and Kiri. Hello there. Who else is watching? Oh, my friends from beginning years, Audrey and Karis. I heard mom's getting some work done during these sing-alongs, so yay, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> and we have Lucy and Claire, and Madzi, and Avida, who are my Needham Library pals, so thanks for all your, all your messages. Um, all right, we're gonna start with one of my songs. This is on my first album. It's called We're Going For A Ride, because even though we're kind of stuck home, we can still maybe hop in the car and just like go for a ride and see what we see out in the world. And I'm actually seeing a lot of stuff out my window while I'm filming. There's a lot of bike riders <laughs> and people walking their pets. And let's see if there's stuff in this song that you guys might see if you're looking out your window when you guys are in the car.
lots of things out our window, don't we? Um, maybe we're riding in a car. Maybe we're riding our bikes around town. There's lots of things. Especially now, I think in spring, a lot of things are starting to bloom and um, little animals are coming out. I saw my first chipmunk recently and there's lots of birds out there, so that's really fun. All right, so this is the classic. You guys know this one. Every time I do this one at a school or a class, I, a lot of friends go, I know this song, or I listen to this in my car. So kids know this one. This is a good counting song, good dancing song, good clapping song, all those things. And of course, a good song to sing. This old man, he played one, he played a knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. sing-along so I have uh, been thinking about a lot of extra free time although when we're home with kids we don't always have free time but because we're busy helping out and taking care of our children if we're home and maybe even working from home but I feel like um, this whole situation is making people kind of try some new things that they they normally maybe don't have time for so that could be a slight little positive out of this so I have had this instrument in my house for a while I actually bought it for my daughter for her birthday I think when she was seven and it's on my bucket list. Do you guys know what a bucket list is? Some things that you really want to accomplish one day. And I really want to learn how to play this. Does anybody know what this is called? A lot of my friends who make music for kids play this. And it sounds so pretty. I can strum it for you. It's not going to be a chord because I don't know how to play it. But it sounds really pretty. And I think I'm going to try to learn this while we are home if I can. So I want to know from you guys, what are you trying that's new that you haven't done before? 
um, give me a shout out, a message, maybe in the comments um, on Facebook or Instagram. I'm going to try to play the ukulele. That's right. There's a ukulele. Um, and it only has four strings, whereas a guitar has six. So it's a little bit different, but I think I'm going to try to play this. And I hopefully, maybe by our next sing along, I can play one song for you. We'll see. Or maybe this is something you want to try to learn also. So I thought that was a cool thing to show you guys. All right, we're going to do a song that's one of my favorites. I always like to do this one in February around like Valentine's Day curriculum. It's called There's a Little Wheel Turning in My Heart. And we can make our wheels go like this, kind of like wheels on the bus. And we're going to sing about some things that we might have in our hearts. And when you hear what we're singing about, I want you to pretend to either make that sound or be that animal or do that move. So let's see if we can do that together. And this is another traditional beautiful song. There's a little wheel turning in my heart. Little wheel turning in my heart. basis some friends I see on a weekly basis at schools and classes so um, I really hope you guys are doing great and I will see you again real soon I think a big Stacy Peasley concert is in order after this after we're allowed um, to all be together again <laughs> all right um, we have a like, kind of a little finger play that I want to do with um, you guys that I also like to do in my classes. This is a traditional song. It's called Wind the Bobbin Up, and it has some moves that we do. Kind of get those wheels going again. Just like that, Wind the Bobbin Up. Very good. I see you, Casey. I see you, Aton, doing these moves. <gasps> Landon, are you doing these moves out there with your guitar in hand? I see you, Landon. All right. Let's sing it. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind the bobbin up, 
bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, 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 point to the ceiling. Who knows what direction that is? <gasps> That's up. Point to the floor. Oh, who knows what direction that is? Down. Point to the window. <gasps> Quick, find a window. Point to the door. <gasps> clap your hands together. One, two, three. Now rest your hands upon your knee. All right, we're gonna do that two more times. I do like to get a little faster every time we do it. You guys think you're up for the challenge? Let's do it faster. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor. Point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Now rest your hands upon your knee. All right, last time we're gonna do it even faster. Can you guys do it even faster? Here we go. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Rest those hands upon your knee. Now let's pat our knees. Oh, pat those knees. Yeah, good job. That's a fun one. I like to do that with my friends too. And I will tell you, with some of my bigger kids, by the time that song's over, we are going really super fast. So maybe you guys can even do it on your own and see how fast you can get. And send me a video if you want. I love seeing your pictures and videos. Um, so thanks to the grown-ups who are sharing them. All right, I have something also besides my ukulele that I want to show you today. I want to see if anybody knows what these are. I'm going to hold one up first and then I'll show you some other stuff because I wrote a song about this. Let me find it, let me find it. I wanna see if anybody knows what this is. Does anybody know what this is? How about let's start like this. Does anybody know what shape this is? What shape is this? Did somebody say circle? Yes, it's a circle. And on both sides, it has a little label in the middle on both sides to tell you um, what's on it. So before you guys were listening to CDs or Alexa, hopefully she doesn't hear me say her name. Um, we were listening to records when I was your age. So I have a whole bunch of my own records. These are called records. And we would sit near our record player and listen to stories or music. And I wanted to show you one of my favorite records when I was little. It's called The Wizard of Oz. This is a classic. And you can open it up, this one, and I would listen to the record. And it had pictures and the story. Cool, huh? These were my longer records. But if we wanted a shorter record, we also had littler ones. These are my little records from when I was young. And you can see these are smaller than the big one I showed you, but they are also circles. So. This is what I used to listen to when I was little for music. And I wrote a song on my second album called Broken Record. And my grown-ups know what that phrase means, but a lot of my friends um, don't know what a record is. So I thought I would show you, and then we could sing my Broken Record song. Doesn't seem very nice. Hmm, I wonder why. Cause she feels just like a broken record. Asking the same thing over and over. Yes, yeah, she feels just like a broken record. Daddy. 
to clean And by the third time, he doesn't seem very nice. Hmm, I wonder why. Cause it feels just like a broken record. Asking the same thing over and over. Yes, it feels just like a broken record. Asking the same thing. On your record player, it would repeat the same thing you were listening to over and over and over again. So a popular phrase when we were growing up was, I sound like a broken record. I keep saying the same thing over and over. So we thought that would make a fun song idea. And if you listen to the track, you'll hear my friend Mr. Cookie Jar. There's a really great rap that he wrote for that. Um, all right. Thanks for listening. Wow, we had a lot of fun today. Let's see. I'm going to give you a little hint. I am working on a new song for our next sing-along. And I want to know... If you can tell what movie this is from. I didn't finish it yet, so I'm just gonna do like the first two lines. There's something we can look forward to. Where the north wind meets the sea, there's a river full of memories. Sleep, my darling, safe and sound. For in this river all is found. Oh, does that song sound familiar? Who knows what movie that's from? We just watched that movie, so I wanted to learn that song. So that's going to be coming up soon. Um, well, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that they say on YouTube. And let's finish off with our goodbye song. I want to say thank you to Casey and Aton, Amelia, Kiri, Lucy, Claire, Avita, Landon, Madzi, Audrey, and Karis, and many, many others who are watching. So thank you. And let's do a goodbye song. And I will see you guys again really soon. And if you want to continue the party, you can find my music online, Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, Apple, Alexa, Google Play, all that stuff, YouTube. <laughs> Well, we've had such fun, now the time has come to say goodbye. To say goodbye, sing our tune. See you soon and say goodbye. Say goodbye, goodbye to families, friends and music and Stacey too. Well, we've had such fun, now the Goodbye. We'll say goodbye. Oh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Keep on watching. Catch up on sing-alongs one through four if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye, friends. <laughs>